what is going on everyone and welcome back to another video the first video of 2021 um so today um i upgraded my my microphone for vlogging so today we are going to be talking about the rode ntg Alright guys, so what I used to use was the Rode, original Rode Video Mic Pro. Not the Rode Video Mic Pro Plus. I ended up getting that either right before or right after that one came out. And for a long time, I wanted to upgrade to the Plus version. But I never really got around to it. Money was kind of always an issue, so... Then, they came out with the Rode NTG. Which is this little guy right here. A nice video shotgun mic for vlogging. And it's an NTG, which is... A very one of their very good lines of microphones aimed more towards indie filmmakers and people like that whereas the video mic is aimed for creators on YouTube and stuff like that so uh, a while back I picked up the Rode NTG4 and I love the camera it's or not the camera I love the microphone it's the one that stays right here in the office for my um, talking head stuff, if you will. You can see the arm right here. It's on that little arm. But, so, when you put the Rode NTG4 and the Rode VideoMic Pro together, you get this guy. The Rode NTG. So, First off, I want to talk a little bit about the body. It's a nice aluminum body, just like the Rode NTG lineup. They're all nice aluminum and good quality build. So if you drop it, you don't really have to worry too much about it. It, it can take a little bit of, it can take a little beating. Whereas the Rode VideoMic Pros, they're just kind of plasticky and I worry about them a little bit. But anyways, got some notes here. There we go. Um, I haven't really tested this mic out on a vlog yet or anything like that. So maybe we'll do a future video of the tests and whatnot on here. But today I'm going to go over the, oh, sorry, over the specs. And then we'll do a little sound test at the end here. Uh, so you guys can be able to hear it. So, first off, I want to start off start off with is one of my favorite features is it's got a built-in battery, which lasts up to 30 plus hours, or at least that's what Rode claims. Once again, haven't tested it or anything like that. But this microphone will turn on and off with your camera, which is always a great plus because... I had a bad habit, just like a lot of other people, of leaving my microphone on and the battery would die. And I'd have to go buy new batteries. So I ended up keeping spare batteries, but still, it was a little annoying. Uh, sometimes I'd get halfway through a video and realize the battery was dead. But with this guy, it will turn on and off with your camera. Um, and with that battery... It is chargeable via a USB type C uh, cable, USB type C cable. So you could plug it into your wall, you could plug it into your computer, and it'll charge it up. But speaking of plugging it into your computer, you can plug this straight into your computer or your phone, 
and use it to do voiceovers or anything like that. It doesn't have to be just on top of your camera. It doesn't have to be for it run and gun type stuff. You can use it for podcasts if you want to. So the flexibility of this uh, mic is very good. I like it. Um, let's see. Next up, what do we have here? We have a gain knob on the back, which I like that little feature. Um, I like the knob. That way you can choose between, let's see, zero or not zero, um, one, and it goes the whole ways up to 15. Now, on the Rode Video Mic Pro, you get a switch. I keep bumping my, my microphone. You get a switch to do plus 20 dB, zero, and negative 10 dB. So I like this one because you can go anywhere between 1 and 15. Granted, it doesn't go up to 20 yet, but I've found with the little use that I have with it, um, I'm usually good around 13. I don't need the whole plus 20 dB. And my levels still seem pretty good from seeing them on, on my camera here. Um, so next up, we have a negative 20 we're going right up the microphone here actually before that we have the power button pretty simple you can turn it on or off as you will say you have it plugged into your phone or something i don't have much experience with that but you can manually turn it on and off it doesn't have to go on and off with the camera but right that same button can take you to negative 20 and if you press it again, it can take you into the safety channel. So in case you guys are wondering what a safety channel is, is it takes the levels and records it into two separate left and right tracks. And one track will be what you set it as, as far as your decibels go. And then the other track will record it at a lower volume, just in case you get some clipping in anything any of your audio say someone's laughing or you have kids yelling which will probably happen to me um, you can use that track and fix it and adjust it through there so that I really like that feature another one of my favorites and if you hit it again you can do both negative 20 and the safety channel then you hit it again you turn both of them off but right beside that, you'll see another symbol, and when that one comes on, when that blinks red, that means you're clipping. Uh, you guys wouldn't have seen that, but yeah, that means you guys are clipping, which nobody wants, because then that just distorts your audio, and it sounds terrible. So that's a good little notification button there. Um, it's a little hard to see, say, if you're vlogging or something like that because it's on top and you're probably looking at your camera. But it's there. I like the feature. It's nice. So right above that, we have the high-pass filters. And from there, you can go from 75 all the way up to 150. And what that's going to do is it's going to eliminate some of the uh, background noise say I'm vlogging and my kids are screaming in the background, it's going to eliminate some of that, maybe not all the way, depending on how loud the kids are. My kids generally tend to be pretty loud, so people will probably still be able to hear them. Um, but I usually keep it on 150. Uh, I guess we'll see how that goes in future videos. But right beside that, you have your high frequency boost which say you're outside and it's windy um, that's when you're going to want to use that and the winds coming at you it's just going to give you a little bit of that boost but there's a couple more things I want to talk about and that is the 3.5 millimeter jack right on the side of the mic so just like the Rode NTG 
Pro Plus, you get the cord, which you can plug right into it, and then right into the camera. Now, the reason for this is in case you get a short in your cord or, say, the dog chews the cord or something like that, you don't need to buy a whole new microphone for a couple hundred dollars. All you need to do is buy a new cord. Now with my Rode VideoMic Pro, if God forbid something would happen to the cord, there's no replacing that. I can't just go buy a cord. I have to go and spend a whole hundred and some dollars, maybe two hundred dollars on a whole new Rode VideoMic Pro microphone. So that's also another great benefit for this mic. And they have basically the same mounting system um i don't quite know how to say the word uh rec recoil rec i'm not sure probably just butchered it but pop the microphone in there and you're good to go um pretty bendy so in case you're running stuff like that it's not going to break or anything and on this mount, you have cable management right here. Pretty nifty. Not sure how I feel about it yet, but I think I'm a fan. So what we're going to do is wrap that through. And put it right into the little uh, grommet there if you will and bring it back over and put it back in the other one so that's nice the nice little cable management there that we don't have a whole bunch of cable hanging off from the side of your camera because that is pretty annoying i used to i used to wrap mine around like that and um, just plug it in that way the whole thing's not hanging off your camera like that nice little feature um, I think making this microphone they really paid a good bit of attention to detail Something else, and this will probably be the last feature that I talk about with this, is you can move the shock mount forward. You know, when, for when you're holding the mic out, you'll get a better sound with it being a little bit closer to you. Or if you're holding it pretty close already, or if you're close to the camera, you can just move it back a little bit. There we go. Simple. Like I said, attention to detail and Rode did a great job with it. I'll give you guys a little sound test. Um, what you're listening to right now is the Rode NTG4. All right, so here we are guys, we are back. Um, and what you are hearing right now is the Rode NTG, uh, vi Rode VideoMic NTG. Now the settings that I normally have this camera on are plus 13 dB. Um, I do use the safety channel and the high pass filter I have on 150. So with that high pass filter, um, my son is screaming right now in the background. So let me know if you guys can hear that or if the high pass filter is working for it. But this is the kind of sound that you'll get with these settings on the Rode VideoMic NTG. But um, that is it for this video, guys. Give it a thumbs up, and as always, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new here. And let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Until next time, I'll see you guys later. Peace.